हेलो 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 एवरीवन लेट मी नो इफ आई एम ऑडिबल एंड लेट मी नो इफ यू आर हियर I just keep adding these uh, filters and these uh, frames to make it a little fun. <laughs> I can see one person is online. Oh, hi, Vidish. Hi. I'll wait for a few more seconds to see if anyone else is coming. and it's dhanteras here in india today thank you so much so that's why dhan varsha this is the frame is all about golden light and it really makes me feel like i'm being flooded in wealth so happy dhanteras to all my fellow indians wherever you are whether in india or abroad i hope i'm audible because last time there was some problem with the audio can you just let me know if i'm audible there are three people hello hello please write in a hi so i know who is online Okay so today I thought that uh, you know I should do a little something different because a lot of people here know uh, you know know all about batch okay thank you so much Vidish so we know about batch flowers in general but uh, since I've brought in the manifestation part I thought I should enlighten you a little about that so I think Dr. Anil is online. Hello, Dr. Anil. Happy Dhanteras to you. So, um, so what is manifestation? So basically, manifestation we are always twenty four seven manifesting. But when you talk about conscious manifestation, which means that you are, you know, there is a desire you have. whether it's a new job a new career a new uh, you know anything a new car or you're planning to buy a new house hi uh whatever it may be that your uh, you know that is your goal in life or you know the next thing you want in life and when you constantly when you set an intention that this is what i want and you work towards it so there are two aspects one is the action part and one is the you know the internal like how you feel about it and how what are your thoughts on it what are your feelings on it what are your emotions about it so if you have negative issues if you have ne negative concerns around that particular goal suppose i want a car but you know i have that bad feeling that oh i don't have the exact money and you know i have a uh, i have other things to look into and all of that negative uh, thoughts or fears or anything which is not helping me towards that goal reach that goal because again as i said last time your desires are at a high vibration and you are if you have negative uh, ne negative emotions you will be at a lower vibration it is all there for you it's all there for you but the only thing is you know when you can't see something which is right in front of your eyes and someone else comes there and just picks it up and you say that you know oh my god why didn't i see it right it's exactly like that so it's there it's there for you but the only thing is you're not seeing it because you're not there you're not there yet right so that is the 
part about manifestation i thought i just i'll just cover it today because most of us i mean it, uh, people know about it in general but they don't know like and i thought because it, this is a lot of you know about batch flowers but the manifestation aspect you may not know probably so i just thought i'll i should talk about it let me know if you are comfortable if you understood what i'm if you're clear if you're with me on this so today i can talk about i uh, see karuna is online hi karuna i like doing this waving to you all of you all <laughs> so um yeah now um let's also talk about batch flowers what are they exactly because if there are people who are new to batch they have zero uh, idea about what the video is lagging okay i think it could be because of this of this uh, frame which i have uh, put up is it fine now because i just took off the um, the dhan varsha as i call it <laughs> just let me know if it's fine now i think it should be fine now so i wanted to talk a little more about uh, a little about batch flowers because there could be people who have zero idea about it so let's uh, dive right into it now batch flowers are a set of 38 flowers and they were found like they were discovered by dr edward batch he was an english doctor he was thank you so much vidish he was an english doctor and he was also a homeopath he left his uh, well well uh, you know uh, well paying career as a doctor he was one of the top doctors in that time in england and he left that to pursue homeopathy and to you know to research actually to research and then he found that these he was extremely sensitive he was an empath and uh, he he was very sensitive and he could he could sense that these flowers have such these these specific you know uh, healing properties and then he you know his part of research was to figure out what how it helps and you know so over a period of time he developed these flowers and uh, now we have them and we know them as the batch flowers because this is uh, dr edward batch was the one who uh, discovered and you know found this whole system of healing with flowers and they are basically extracts from flowers which are put in water and with uh, preserved with alcohol and uh, yeah so that is how that is how so basically they deal with uh, emotions and your feelings and your mental health they are all uh, hi rashmi so uh, i'm talking about batch for all those who may be new to the system because when i came to know about these flowers okay there's a crow so please ignore it <laughs> there's a crow i think right outside my window so when i found this uh, system of healing i was shocked because i was like something like this also could exist in our world where you know something uh, which deals directly with emotions when someone is low on confidence that person can have that specific flower remedy and can feel better and can feel confident to you know do something about you know in suppose there is an interview and he's feeling low on confidence and he just takes that specific flower and he'll feel you know confident to speak and give a good interview decently good interview and you know all of that like there's one for so many things there's one for in being impatient being uh, being fearful being angry or anything you know there is one for each emotion which was like a shock to me i was like something like this could also exist in this world and uh, that was like the best part of how it started with me 
and uh, yeah so those people who do not know about batch flowers i think i this is what this uh, this live is about because uh, so batch flowers are you know they go deep into your uh, system and they heal you from within they release your negative emotions and uh, yeah they they heal you from within and there is no side effect there is no uh, you know that uh, which you say that uh, this can cause uh, the the side effect uh, can be something like there is nothing of that sort so that's the best part about these flowers so yeah so today let's talk about um, centauri because we've covered beach and i will be so i will be uploading the videos on agrimony and aston soon this is uh, diwali week so i hope <laughs> i mean please be patient with me i can start i can uh, upload them soon and i can continue with the other flowers thereafter i hope everyone is there i cannot see any any comments or any uh, happen there's nothing happening like there's zero activity so i don't know if you're watching or not so um yeah so today i will talk about the flower remedy centauri centauri is the basic uh, if you want to say the one line the one major um part of centauri is that these people the negative the people in the negative centauri state are people who cannot say no so again there are different levels to this so there can be people who are unable to say no at different places and maybe they are so every time every flower will always have can always be a situational remedy or it can be a personality remedy like it can be a it can be a remedy which you feel that oh only in my office environment i'm not able to say no to my boss probably okay or uh, somewhere where you know you feel like you don't want to say or you cannot say no that those places are the only places where i cannot say no but otherwise i'm not such a person it's not like i am a kind of person who is who will always not be able to say no okay i can say no when i don't want to when i feel that when i'm comfortable in that environment i can say no but uh, centauri so so centauri is is basically a person who is not able to say no to people when even when they uh, you know like even when they feel that okay i don't want to but still they're not able to say it okay and uh, and it so there are the two types like situational and the personality so if that personality is like that that means that person cannot say no under any circumstances so that is the kind of person he is you cannot you cannot uh, you know say that uh, i so that person will always be someone who is not able to say no so what kind of a person but does that become he will become a doormat because people will tend to use him and throw him whenever he is whenever they want him they'll use him they'll because that person is not able to say no they are not able to take a stand for themselves and they cannot uh, you know uh, take a stand yeah exactly so they tend to become doormats people will use them they have that uh, slave attitude because they will tend to uh, always try to serve people and um, yeah exactly so if we, now when you when we relate this to uh, manifestation part if a person is in the centauri state if, if if the person is in the negative centauri state if that person cannot take a stand for himself how do you think that person will manifest for himself because the universe will al always say okay yes 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 the universe always says yes to us and so if that person is always serving others is always looking at other people and you know uh, wanting to serve other people then how will he how when is he when does he tie have time for himself when does he uh, know what he wants because you tend to just uh, you tend to just kind of uh, live through other people because you are 
uh you so someone tells you do this you you go ahead and do that someone tells you do this you go and ahead and do that you become like a remote you become like a robot and the other person has the control to your life right you that person is holding the remote of your life you are not in charge of your life you are not taking responsibility because you are misdirect you are in everyone else's life path where is you where is your life where are you leading your life where is Uh, you know what are you doing with your life so if a person takes centauri that person understands there is a balance between what others want and what i want so they try tend they start to focus on on themselves then and they start uh, to then understand what what they want in life what are their needs what are their wants what are their desires what are their dreams in life and uh, then they can start manifesting for themselves because then they understand that this is what i want this is what tends to happen with centauri also is because they are so much involved because they are you know they are not able to say no they have a uh, that attitude which is uh, like a servant they tend to become good servants they are they always want to please others that is a quality of centauri that they want to please everyone because they are not able to say no so they want so they want to please everyone they want to serve everyone so they don't know what pleases them so they get lost in that life where you know they don't know what they want so if you don't know what you want how how will you manifest for yourself how will you uh, how will you start from where you want to like create your life right so you get stuck in the uh life of other people in the in the you know in the happenings of other people's lives because you are uh you don't have your uh, system of living you don't know what you want you are not able to uh you know don't you don't have that strong will where you take a stand for yourself that okay this is what i want and i don't want to do this in my life i don't i want to create a different kind of life if uh, if they, if they want something different out of their life they are not able to say that so this is how it will help you manifest because if you are someone like this in situations or as a personality then you will always uh, you will not uh, so when you start taking this you will understand that there is a balance between the inner world and the outer world you always need to satisfy your inner world you need to always fill your cup first and then from that overflow you can serve others there is no there's no harm or there's no um you know it's not bad to serve others it's it's a very good thing actually but when you forget yourself and then serve others then everyone else also tends to forget you because that is what you're putting it out you that is your that is what you're trying to tell them that okay i don't matter i don't matter and i don't care about myself so everyone also treats you that way right so when you when, when you take centauri you understand that there is a balance between inner world and outer world what you want and what others want and you can then balance uh, your life with that of others and you know your desires are important you understand what you want you 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 can uh, then take a stand for yourself you can you can spend more time on yourself you can you know you take you give yourself preference that is the main idea behind uh, centauri you give importance to your own self and also others but mainly you give importance you start giving importance of course because you are centauri if you are in the negative centauri you always give importance to others that is never going to go away you don't change with these flowers but then you also understand your importance in your life you understand that you are important also right and then that's when you start understanding what you want that's how that is the first step that when you start giving importance to yourself your preferences your likings your dislikes your desires your dreams that's when you start you know creating that life because then you know that this is what i want and this is not something which i want so that then you create a balance for yourself 
and that's how you can beautifully then manifest for your life and then you know that this is my life path and this is something which i will create in my life whether whether it will come to me immediately or as as in the in my lifetime that is okay but at least you know that this is what you want and you will you know then understand that uh, uh this is this is my life path i want to create this in my life so that's all about centauri and if you have any questions please uh, let me know and uh, if you're watching on replay hashtag replay so i know that you've watched it and um, happy dhanteras happy diwali to all of you all the indians and uh, people who are not indians also because uh, diwali is the day of wealth and abundance so i wish you uh, uh, you know an ab- abundant uh, life of wealth health and uh, prosperity everything which you desire may it come true so thank you so much for being here on live to everyone who was on live and whoever watches it after so let me know if you have any questions and um, here okay thank you so much